This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Moore versus Anderson. You all have been together for five years, and Miss Moore, allegations of cheating are just eating up your relationship. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Tell us why you brought your boyfriend to court today. Well, I brought Gerald here today because we have past history of him cheating. This man right here, he has took me through hell and back, Your Honor. My woman's intuition, my third eye, it works, it's strong, and it has never let me down within those five years. So... So you're saying that third eye, when it sees something, it's seeing something. Crystal clear. <laughs> I don't know what she's been seeing, Your Honor. I don't understand about this third eye. It's, uh, I know that women's intuition, but I know we was born with two eyes, and okay. I don't know about this third one. I'm still trying to figure that out, Your Honor. Mr. Anderson, I'm gonna help you and Mr. Color with this third eye thing. Okay. Because we have this discussion, too. <laughs> so, you know, women are born with a third eye. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. I'm gonna show you where it is. It's right here. Is that invisible? Y'all don't... Yeah. <laughs> and y'all can't see it, because y'all don't have a third eye, but see, I see her third eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. I understand, I understand. And you know how your mama can see things in the back of her head? Yes, yes. When you get become a mama, you get one back there, too. <laughs> That's real talk right there. Despite her four-eye analysis, <laughs> you say you're not doing anything. No, sir, I'm not. You're not cheating. No, sir. I, I, I don't have any time. You got plenty of time. You have a lot of time, sir. Well, now, now here's the thing. I heard very clearly that there's a past. Yes, and that may be the source, the root, of some of this problem. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Tell me what happened in the past. So, I was working at a job, past tense, and, um, just that, that I, it was like, I got off at 10 o'clock, Your Honor, and so I go to Houston, I pop up like Jack in a Box up on him, like, I'm here, <laughs> ain't no heads up, so I bust through the door, Mr. Anderson's laying on the couch, he's startled, scared, like, what's going on? And as I'm packing up my stuff, I walk and I see, uh, lo and behold, a condom. Not just any condom. It was a used condom. So I go and I get Mr. Anderson. I'm like, hey, what's this? He's like, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? What does it look like? It's not a mint. It's not just trash. Uh -huh. It's something that you It's have. not a mint Go ahead. <laughs> you know? OK, so Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Here's uh, your moment. Okay, well, I can explain the condom. Um, yes, we had a break, so in between that break, yeah, I, I have to admit, I got sloppy and really threw it. But, you know, I mean, Snoop Dogg Dog gonna find it regardless, you know, because she's gonna... I mean, she's behind... It's, it's, <laughs> look, it was not in plain sight. Ew! I was being... <laughs> Thank it was, you! It was okay. one of our breaks, so I wasn't with her, so I was just trying... Time I, out. I'm, Tab out. I'm talking as your mama. Nasty. Throw that away. No, I always do. I Plus always you know, do. do I always do. I'm I talking always as do. your mama. I always do. And I don't know what that one. I'm ever... gonna give you credit for using it, <laughs> but Thank it's you. used. I understand. <laughs> All right. He says Snoop Dogg Dogg's gonna find it. But here's the thing: if it ain't no bone, it ain't nothing to find. I understand that. I understand so, if that. there's something, you know, yeah, so you can't bury it and then say it ain't there. Well, look, but here's the thing, though. It. They're on a break. So, if they're on a break and then she, just on a whim, just jumps in her car and drives 70 miles or however far it was to get to him and bust in the door on him, when, right. you, when you do it that way, you're gonna find can something I, you I, don't want to find. You, and you assume the fact not in evidence, Mr. Cutler. What fact did I assume that was not in evidence? Were you on a break? Not like that. He said they want a break. That's she said they weren't because if they want a break, she would... Why is her clothes still there if she's on a break? Exactly. I'm gonna pack all my... and get. Okay. Exactly. Can, I, can I clear some? Exactly. Now, if you're on a break, you do that when it's done. When you're on a break, it's like, look, yeah. Yeah. we're gonna cool How off for a while. How you know about a break? <laughs> How, you know about break? <laughs> How you know about a break? The same what? way you know. <laughs> now, the bottom line is, you just can't roll up on somebody yeah, you can. You know, drop. And she did. And, and she, she called him. And she found what she found. That's what it looks like. Ah, uh, okay. So, so that's all this so because what, of your what? woman's intuition, right? That third eye. Four. That four, third eye. Four. Okay. Four. <laughs> but clearly, at some point, you like, I like him. I want him back. Cause y'all here. Yes, we are. Okay. So why'd you take him back? 
Okay, because this man, he does have good qualities. Truth okay. be told, I love this man. He is a sweetheart. This man knows my weight fluctuates. And I be trying to, you know, work it out, get my Beyonce on or whatnot. So, Mr. Anderson knows how I like to come home and I like to soak in a tub. I have my candles and I have my mood set. He can scramble some eggs like nobody's business. That's all he can cook. So when I got out the tub and I go in there and I get the eggs, those were the best. I mean, uh, 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 finger licking yeah. eggs that I've had. They was like steak. So from that moment, we went to Happy Place, which is you know grown people's room, yeah. and we never had no problem in that area at all whatsoever. I'm okay, like, wait a so minute. The, the, you took it back because he can make scrambled good eggs. eggs. <laughs> yes. There must be some. <laughs> Hey, I learned so all that, all that work I did to get you, I could have just scrambled some eggs and that would have been good? Well, I don't know. There got to be some bad yeah, eggs. You got to put some be... extra special sauce in there. You know, that's oh, all. Okay. All right, now. All right. Well, I'm going to have to get the recipe for that. Just, just in you. case I, I get in the doghouse, I need to get back. I... Hey, it oh. helps you. All right, so the eggs are popping. What else made you come back? Well, because our sex life is booming, like, three to four times a day. Even if we ain't together, it's like we having sex on the phone. Like, Wait, we... wait. did you say three to four times a day? Seven days a week. Okay, so... And when does he have time to fix eggs? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. All right, so you're back together, but that third eye is blinking. Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> All right, tell me about why it's blinking now. Okay, Your Honor, Super Bowl was in Houston recently. Right. Me and Mr. Anderson had went out the city. It's litty, litty, litty. Me and Mr. Anderson are super litty. So we're going to a bar, and we get it even more littier at the bar. So More littier, cousin. That's <laughs> a new litty. one. Yeah. All right. So it's lit we... littier and yeah. more littier. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as we're about to leave, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna drive because I know you've been drinking. So I, you know, women, we have our driving shoes in the car because we're not driving with our heels on. So I go to the trunk, Your Honor, and Mr. Anderson has this toolbox, which I have here. Okay. He has this toolbox in the back of the trunk, and the trunk looks like on one side that it's been, you know, tampered with, pulled up or whatnot. So I get to digging in that box after I move this out the way, and I'm digging in this little bootleg hiding spot that he has, and lo and behold, I find condoms. Now, I do not find just any condoms or whatever. It's a six-pack of condoms, Your Honor. And at the end of the day, I'm grown, and we're all grown, and we all can count. And this has how many condoms, if you can see? Four. Four. So that means there's two misses, so he has two problems to be solving with me. <laughs> so I get back in the car, and I'm like, hey, what are these? Where are they coming from? Like, what's going on? He's looking like, where's Waldo? Where did you find him? I don't know. Like, uh, hey, can I explain something, though? Mean? I'm saying. As Mr. Anderson gets out the car, I burn off on him, so... But I don't leave. You left him you, driving you left his in car. car. In my car. You in his Ooh, car. That's and so he put... That's, that's... You know I'm yeah, mad. <laughs> you see that? You see? That's it's on the bottom. <laughs> Do not encourage that. Yeah, it's something about you in your car. No, do not off. encourage uh, that. Yeah. No. <laughs> she knows. No, no that's, that's not that's cool. Her. That's not cool. Okay. I, I went left it like I, that. I come right back in five minutes. I just did a block. I came and got her. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Here's the thing. I'm not encouraging that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not encouraging, Mr. Cullen. But it sure was. I bet she felt real good when she pulled oh, it all I like, did. Err. All right. right. So Anderson, I'm gonna give you okay. a fair chance. All right. Tell me about why it's simple math. Six minus two equals mm. four. Yes, of course. My friend asked me to borrow two of the condoms. Okay, here you go. I'm not gonna give him one. Who used one condom? Two, of course, oh. all the time. <laughs> any man, any man say that. Any, any situation, you're gonna take two condoms. I'm not gonna take one. I mean, it's the truth. What you want me to do? And I'm... so you're doing the math. Six minus two equals who you been with. Thank you. That's that's where you're going with this. Very much. And it wasn't you. Not at all. All right. Well, that's one reason. What else you got? So, Mr. Anderson was gone, like, off to work and whatnot. So, when he returned back home, he had, like, you know, his bags and items and stuff. So, I'm being a good woman. I'm cleaning out my man's stuff, organizing and whatnot. So, when I'm cleaning it, there's a letter in the stuff. Now, this letter is addressed to one of Gerald's female friends. 
Okay. This letter, Your Honors, was confessing, oh, how much he feels about this woman, how much he loved her, how much he wished that they could get a chance to be together. Now, we're together, living together, and you're confessing your love to a woman when you got a woman? So you already know I have an issue. All right, so you're a giver and you're a writer. <laughs> Tell me about the writer part. Yeah, uh, well, me and her had got into it on the phone, you know, so we was like on a, not real break, but we was not really talking to each other for a little while. So, you know, I got a little lonely and I had wrote a letter to one of my friends. Never sent it, but it was on my mind. And I'm not, I'm the type of person, if something's on my mind, I like to write it down, I'm ready to get it off my mind. Had you ever been with her sexually? No. So you got all caught up in your feelings. Exactly, exactly. And your feelings got you all caught up with her. Exactly. So, Mr. Anderson, is your testimony that you have not been unfaithful during the last year and a half that you all have been back together? Is yes, that sir. your testimony? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what you're telling this court? Yes, sir. And, and Ms. Moore, your woman's intuition is telling you that that's not true. Yes, Your Honor. Well, because you say that your, your woman's intuition keeps going off, uh, we have a friend of the court who is going to come and share her insights because she has a heightened woman's intuition just like you do. Okay. At this time, we'd like to call to the court singer-songwriter and reality TV star Tammy Rivera. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Rivera into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Okay. Rivera. Hi, how are you? Let's go to the witness stand up next to the judges. Hello, I guess, Ron. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us today. No problem. Now, you have used your woman's intuition mm -hmm. to catch a cheater. <laughs> Is that a fair statement? Um, absolutely. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair statement. Tell us about that. Um, well, me and my husband, he's a superstar, he's a rapper, so I can say this, I've been through almost everything right. that a woman can go through, and I'm not ashamed to say that today because where we stand today is a testimony of what we've been through. But that woman intuition is 100% real. And as I can say to you, with all honesty, baby, don't wear yourself out. Keep searching for something. That gets tiring. You get old fast. You're too beautiful to keep looking and looking and looking. Thank you. Some things you just gotta let it be what it's gonna be. And you're worth so much more. If you gotta look for it, then it's there. Mm -hmm. There it is. You're worth so much more than some scrambled eggs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Well, I think we have had enough testimony. And what we've heard today is the Super Bowl drive off because you found condoms in the back of the car, the love letter to a friend. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. He says he's not cheating, but you say if he is, you're done. I'm gone. Well, because of that, this court has conducted a full investigation to find out if he is cheating. <laughs> At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to the court. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Williams in? Yes, Your Honor. It's you? good to see you. Good to see you, Good to sir. see you again. All right, so you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Anderson, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Would you share for the court record your credentials? I'm currently a certified polygraph examiner and private investigator. All right. You asked Mr. Anderson, in the past five years, have you had sexual intercourse with your female friend, the one he wrote the letter to? What was his response to that question? He said no. On this question, uh, there were no significant physiological responses, which indicated to me he was being truthful. <laughs> All right, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> the next good. question. <laughs> Mr. Anderson was asked, have you had sexual intercourse with any women other than Miss Moore within the last year and a half? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that there was significant physiological responses to this question, which indicated to me he was being deceptive. Mm, mm, mm. That's 
while we're here. Mr. Anderson, the third eye. who is the woman that you had sexual intercourse with within the last year and a half? Um, it's really not about important, and, but this What? Happened. Wait a minute! This okay. I'm a man and I, I, did, I did mess up. Because as a man, it's hard because you have a lot of temptations. You know what I mean? I do get no, don't tempted. Don't, and... don't, don't drag us all in there. No, 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 no. Don't so not, drag no, us all. I just put us all in don't, there, but... Yeah, you, yes, you are. <laughs> you keep saying because, because you're a man, okay. because you're a man. You just have to say, because yeah, I, I'm Gerald Anderson and I'm human. I'm human. I messed up. Okay. And I do apologize for... After five years, it's a pattern. When does it end? It ain't ending yet, so it's not going to end. But I'm going to end it. You all have been together for eight years. You had one child together. You recently married the man of your dreams, knowing he was a player from back in the day. So tell us how you met and how you thought you tamed the beast. We were working overnight, and I was going to school at the same time. Ooh. And he was actually helping me with my studies, and I was like, okay, all right. You know, I usually don't date younger men, but... You know, he kind of sparked my interest. If you pick in my IQ, you pick in my interest. So that's what he was doing. So I was like, okay, I'll give you a little taste. Oh. And he's like, <laughs> no, I thought you were gonna say a little time. She made that laugh real quick on uh, me. Yeah. Okay. And so he said, yeah, yeah I will. Baby, you know, yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I'm out here doing this, that, and the third. And I'm like, uh, back up, because I don't play all that. So he's like, oh, well, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real good to you. And then on down the road, we got five, six, uh, I can't count them all. Whoa. All the, all the play in the well. Suspicions and accusations, yes, ma'am. All right, uh, all right. Now you said you're a little older. You, you, you just only a few years older than him. Mm -hmm. Just a few. But I'm, you know, a little older and a little wiser. But that was a play in him, right? Yes. Okay. But you thought you tamed this beast. I ain't never thought I tamed him. I just thought I was gonna give him another chance. Oh. This is his last. This <laughs> is this, this is his last, last chance, time. Your Honor. But wait a minute, hold on. The, the, let me get some clarity. Mm -hmm. You said he told you when you start dating, hey, I'm kind of out there, and you're like, I don't do that. Yeah. But you still married him, so I'm thinking when you married him, you thought, okay, you're gonna be right. I know, right? Then I make the fool of myself. Oh. oh. I don't know. Mr. Moore, wow. did she make a fool of herself? No, she didn't. I've, I've changed my ways since we got married and for her and technology and her insecurities and what happened maybe when I was a player is still playing a role right now in our marriage. So, Mr. Boy, you are saying your past technology and her insecurities have you in this court today yeah. being accused of cheating. Yes. And you're saying that's not true and I'm here to prove myself innocent. Yes. innocent. All right. If you find out he's cheating, what are you going to do? That's his bags. Here's my divorce papers. Where's the ink pen? Mm. So that makes it pretty clear. I mean, got his oh, badge no. back. Okay. Hmm. So, Mr. Moore, you understand yes. what's at stake today? Is I that do. really your suitcase? That's our suitcase. Oh, he can keep my clothes too. Our I'm sure suitcase. he got somebody that can wear them. So you understand what's at stake today? Yeah. You know what she means, and and you know she means business. And I say, what would you do if your wife has? ripped up one of your marriage licenses. I would say that's a real yes, sign so, because I, she I, thinks I, you're cheating and that's what we're here to determine. Yeah. Are you cheating? Uh -huh. And no. you say you're not. No. That's what he always No, say. sir. That's the same. He got All the right. same story every time. I ain't doing nothing. But you was messing around with somebody for over a year and a half, but you wasn't oh. doing nothing then. Okay. Well, so <laughs> we've gone from engaging your mind mm -hmm. to cheating allegations. Why do you think he's cheating? Because of the GPS. Okay, you GPS his phone? Yes. Okay, why did you GPS his phone? Because that's what we agreed to when we got back together. He's like, you can do this, 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 and this to show that I'm not cheating anymore. So to and prove I to you that uh -huh. he wasn't cheating, you GPS his phone? Yes. And so you checked the GPS? Yes. But something made you be suspicious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was at work and I had got home off a break and I called him. And the phone, he wasn't picking up the phone. And I'm like... And, what, why you ain't picking up? Yeah, and you no, 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 hold on, hold on. You submitted an exhibit regarding this GPS. Oh, yes. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, so that's your house at the top uh -huh. of the exhibit, right? Yes. And he told you he was going to a family member's house, right? Yes. And so this is the route you would take to the family member's house. Yes. 
Yes. That's where you thought he was. Yes. But then you GPSed him. Yes. And then what did you find? He was next door. And so, so where we see that red flash, that's the GPS pinging at the neighbor's house. Yes. Okay, so he's at the, his family member's neighbor's house. So what? A person he said he don't know, don't have nothing to do with. Oh, what, what you doing over there? What the problem is? He don't know. Can I, so okay, you, so can is, I, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. So is this neighbor a, a woman? Is I mean, like it could be women that live there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Has he ever been involved with these women? I wouldn't know. I mean, I can't check everything. Okay, but you just know it's two women that... I can only know. check so much. You know, you can't tell everybody that he messed with, so, you know, I just gotta go with my gut. And you think he may be involved with them? Yes. Because I was gonna say, I mean, they could have gone next door to watch football. It was a, it was a fella's house, so that's why I was getting clear. Yeah, you, well, what uh, would be wrong with going uh, next door to the neighbor's house? It could have been Mr. Moore and his family member going to a neighbor's house. It could have been five or six people there. I understand that. But what her concern is, her concern is he's next door instead of at the family members with these two women. Now, I, I, I don't make the news, I just report it. So that's so, what's so going in on. That... Well, you... Mr. Moore, were you at the lady's house next door? No, I was at the family member's house. Well, how do you explain it pinging at the house next door? It wasn't pinging at the house next door. It was really pinging. I screamed three shot for me. Three, hold on. The three houses down, to be exact. Were you at, were you three doors down from no, the family? No, I was at the family member's house, my family member's house the whole entire time. Do you know Visiting. who lives three doors down? No. no. I had the phone charging in the vehicle. That's why I wasn't able to pick up the phone. But I looked and knew that she took lunch around 8 o'clock, so I called her back at like 8.15. You didn't call me to eight. So were you were you in the car? No, I was inside. So how, how are you charging your phone in the car uh -huh. if the car is not on? You're not in it the car. It doesn't have to be on to be charged. The only way the lighter works is if the car is on. No, it works without. Uh -huh. Not all the time. That's not true. My truck is the same way. But why wouldn't and you like take it? In, why wouldn't you take the phone in the house with you, where everybody has a charger? You may not have one of your own, but everyone has a charger. I mean, come out. You can go to somebody. They were using. They, they were using their charger. All, all right, right. Okay. everybody. All right. You said that's not it. Tell me what else you got. He'll be sitting up there talking to his friend Cavante on the telephone. And when yeah. we first got back together, he would talk to Cavante right there in front of me. Now, all of a sudden, because Cavante is relaying messages, oh, I don't have good reception in here, babe. I got to go outside. I'm like, you ain't got good reception in here no more? You just had good reception when you was on the phone with your mama, but now you're on the phone with him, you ain't got good reception. Okay, now come on. So I'm that. I'm going to let you have that one. you going to let me have that one? I'm going to let you have that one. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, so. You make it sound like this was a change. Like, he used to be able to talk to Kevante in front of you, and now, all of a sudden, he's got to leave when he, he talks to Because he back to the same old ways that got him is put that, out the first time. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And not only that, it sounds like you're saying, correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like you're saying the only person he seems to have this reception problem with is his best friend, no. Kevante. Yes, That's yes. What, no, yes. not true. So what do you think Kevante, he true. and Kevante are talking about? Not true. His co-worker that he was messing around with up there for, for a year and a half. Not yes. true. Yes. So, so you think Kevante is helping set up yeah, meetings? Yeah. And, oh, so it's like, the bird is landed, go yes, to the nest. Yes, The bird is landed, go yes, to the nest. Exactly, there you go. Okay. We need to know why you got to run outside and talk to Kevante. She knows that our signal is bad, and if you have someone in the background talking mm -hmm. while you're talking, I leave the room because when I speak, she's sitting in the background talking as well while I'm trying to hold a conversation. I can't believe that that happened. You can't believe that. Right? Uh, that's what? No, I'm being funny. Miss Moore? Miss Moore is trying to talk and over you? Let's take, let's take this a step further, okay? Mm -hmm. You got to go outside and you got to talk to Gavante because the signal's bad. Mm -hmm. While you're outside, is he relaying messages to you about uh, other women? No, sir. Is he running interference for you in any way so you no. can be with other women? No, Your Honor. No, oh, sir. Now, you sure? I was outside while Positive. he was on the phone. I heard him say repeatedly, yes, she told me. Yes, she told me. I said, so who was she? Oh, you didn't hear me say that. All right. Well, Mr. Gavante mm -hmm. submitted a statement to the court. Mm hmm and we would like to bring that up so we can share it and put it in the court record. It says, Dear Judge Keith and Dana Cutler. That's us. That's us. <laughs> I would like to go on record to say that I am not helping J. Rick Moore cheat. 
I have witnessed him change as a man. And I know for a fact that he is not cheating on his wife. I also have never been the middleman between him and any woman. He is a changed man. Thank you. Statement from Cabante Finch. That's your buddy? Yeah, that's my yes. yeah, co-worker. Co-worker. Yeah. How long y'all been friends? Since About, he's been working at the Hold on, hold on. Can he I, can answer. He answer. Thank you. <laughs> About four years. About four years? My keen judge sense is telling me you don't believe that. No. And not at all. No, no, can no, I no, speak? No. He's hold talking up. to me. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. So, I had to pick him up from work one day. So, because our other vehicle was down. Well, I'm sitting in the truck, and this car pulls up, and she, our windows are tinted. So, the person in the car is just staring. And I'm like, can I help you? And she said, oh, no. What does it have to do with me? Exactly and, what okay, I want to Okay, so why do you think that this is evidence that supports Mr. Morris cheating? because of how the woman's behavior was. The woman's behavior <laughs> just by staring at me. First, she was just staring at the car, but when I got out, she wasn't expecting me to get out because everybody at that job knows what his vehicle looks like. So what did you do then? I waited till he got out. Excuse me, And I asked him whose I... car it was, oh, and he told you... me whose it was. I said, oh, okay. Well, let me write this note real quick. Okay, yes, tell me exactly what the note said. I'm gonna tell you, y'all. Okay, all right. I told the lady in the... You know, I told her, I said, so I guess this is your car. He told me this is your car. So I'm the wife. So let me let you know. I already know about the other chick he was messing around with for a year and a half, so I guess you the new flavor of the month. So, just to let you know, you know, if y'all have anything going on, there's no hard feelings. I gave him the year that I told him I was gonna give him, and you welcome, more than welcome to have him. Okay, oh. wait a minute. You park, Lady Park's next to you. Mm -hmm. She's looking at you, and the next thing is, you leave her a note saying, you the flavor of the month? Yeah. You made that leap? When I say to you that this woman was staring me down, I'm talking about aggressively staring me down. And I'm like... Hey, because I'm on the phone, and I'm like, can I help you? Do I know you? And she's like, oh, no. I, okay, I... Mr. Moore, after your wife left the note on the mm -hmm. car, what happened? Uh, my supervisor came, called me in the office, of course, and pretty much banned her from the property and also said that... Banned she... your wife from the property? Yes, Ooh. until the situation was handled and told me she left the note on the wrong woman's vehicle and they yeah, jeopardized my job, yes. So, it sounds like to me, love, while we don't have hard evidence, we got enough circumstantial evidence to go to the next level. And so, what we got is she believes he's back to his old ways. And for these reasons, Miss Moore believes that Mr. Moore is cheating she has packed his bag, so it's not a question of where this is mm -hmm. headed if she finds out he is cheating. Yeah. And this whole marriage is on the line. Oh, For all these reasons, the court will call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to determine, is he cheating? Ron, please show me Sisko in. Ms. Cisco, how are you this afternoon? I am well, Your Honor. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Yes, Your Honor. I am a former military interrogator. I am um, certified by the Department of Defense. And shortly after 9-11, I deployed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where I interrogated members of Al-Qaeda and Taliban. And since that time, I have been training government agency personnel, military personnel, and law enforcement in interrogation and interviewing techniques. Okay. All right. Ms. Sisko, would you tell us what you did in this case? Yes, Your Honor. So I had the accused write a witness statement, and I went through it and analyzed that statement for any indicators of truthfulness or deception. And with that, I also studied their case file. I put together an interrogation plan, and I interrogated Mr. Moore to see if he was cheating on his wife. Based on your interrogation, do you believe Mr. Moore is cheating on Mrs. Moore? So although he said no, he did have this smile on his face. And so we call that duper's delight. And sometimes that smile can indicate I'm getting away with something. So I asked Mr. Moore, why are you smiling when you answered this? And he said, because you're smiling. So it could be that he was mirroring my facial expression of emotion. Aside from that, however, I do not believe that he has cheated on his wife since January 2018. 
However, 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 I am not completely satisfied that the coworker is completely out of the picture because Mr. Moore made a statement to me during the interview, and I'm going to say it and quote him, I'm down to two women. So that's a present mm. tense statement. And what I expected yeah. to no. hear was I'm down to one woman, my wife. No. So that, I need an ink pen. Okay. Oh. I I'm said... Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore, hold on, Ms. Moore. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Mr. Moore, you're down to two women. No. And now the coworker is gone, so now I'm down to one is what I said. So here's my question. Do you believe he is cheating based on everything that you heard through your process? No, I don't believe he's cheating on her. Nice in January, she's actually Okay. If you stay with him, I would say that you absolutely need some counseling to deal with all of the things that you're bringing to the table. Yes. And Mr. Moore, here's the unfortunate position that you're in. This woman, if you want to be with her, you've got to show her and show her and overshow her and double show her and triple show her that you are oh. a changed man. Uh, you all have been dating for about two years, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you all are from Cleveland, Ohio. Yes, sir. All right. And uh, Ms. Matthews, why have you come to couples court today? Well, Your Honor, I'm here today to see if my boyfriend of two and a half years is cheating with my sister. I'm sorry, with your sister? My little sister, correction. Mr. Payton, you're denying yes. that you have been intimate with her sister? Yes. Okay, you deny that? Yes. All right. Ms. So Matthews, why do you believe that he's involved with your sister? He's a cheater. He's a liar. I cheated um, one time, Your Honor. Okay. But there's lies, stories that's not matching up. A lot of things that's so lie, taken no me proof. to believe well, that he's cheating with her. She has no proof, but she's constantly accusing me of sleeping with her sister or trying to hit on other girls. Or She's just very insecure. Why do you think that she thinks you've been with her sister? She's crazy. Her and her sister <laughs> okay. both are obsessed with me. When I hear obsessed, I'm thinking somebody who's just like, I gotta have him. Yes. Pretty much. She Talking wants my you? my Facebook page, following me around town, doing all types of stuff. <laughs> I used to go around the family all the time when we first started dating. So, um, I think it was Labor Day of last year, and I was over there. Her sister's making passes at me. She's asking me, oh, is my sister really your type? And she keep asking me stuff like this. And right after that, is when she started accusing me, so... So did you rebuff? No. Did you tell her, I don't I... want you, I'm not interested in you? Yeah, definitely. I played it off because as a guy, I know when a woman is flirting with me. So if you, you find out your time? sister is, in fact, involved with him... Yes, Your Honor. ...what will happen? There's a lot on the line. He has to go. He lived with me. He has to go immediately. And what happens with you and your sister? I mean... I'm cutting her off, too. The relationship is over. <laughs> okay. So this is serious. Very serious. Now, Mr. Payton, you believe she's just being paranoid, right? Definitely. Well, we well, know that the reason you are here is because you were a couple at one point and you were happy. Yes, at one point, correct. All right. Can you yeah. tell me about the happy days so we'll, we can understand how you even got together? So, um, last sweetest day, he surprised me, you know, at my job with Edible Arrangement, Pink Roses, which is my favorite teddy bears, just a lot of things. And we went on camping trips, like, okay. the year before that. We had an excellent time. Tell me about how you met her and what that looked like. Um, we met through a mutual friend, and our first date was, like, cross street to a park. It was in the area. We just kind of sat there and talked, got to know each other for a while. I was going through some stuff at the moment, so she was there. She was there to comfort me. Uh, we kind of nice. just went from there. The same park that he took the girl he cheated with me on. Oh. Too. Yeah. So but this is how you lost the trust this and now was you two believe. weeks yeah. for us dating. We no. were talking for two weeks okay. when it happened with the other girl. I was dating no. the other girl first and it was kind of ended. We were just having sex. How did you find out about the other girl? I heard him on the phone in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Our, how our house is is the hallway. It's the bedroom. Then there's the bathroom and he walked through. It's the kitchen. I was in the kitchen. So the bathroom is not even, what, two steps away from the kitchen. And so what do you do? You hear him talking, do you go over by the bathroom to listen? To see, yes. 
Yes, ear on to, and what, on my tippy toes. Yes. And what was he saying? What did you hear him saying? He was saying, "Baby, I miss you." And that's I'm a lie. So, I was on. So, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give you a chance to respond. through this, and I just want us to work out, and I. I don't even want to be here for real. So this is sort of like the Usher song. Lo you know, I'm leaving the one I love to be with you or whatever that or song confessions. was. confessions. He was doing the confessions. Oh, he was doing <laughs> confessions. That works too. What else did he do to lose your trust? He would leave, stay out for two nights, three nights. Well, I won't hear from him. He won't answer the phone. Okay. Is this true? You go and stay away two or three nights? Yes. Who are you okay. staying with? My mom or whoever. It's oh. just to get away from her. She's she she really gets under my skin. To get away skin. from me to cheat, cause you can't no. cheat while you with me. Why you here? This is what well, she does every day, all day. She accuses me of cheating every day, all day. So I'm gonna tell you what I did, and he doesn't even know. Okay. He was asleep. Now his phone has you know the fingerprint. Right. He sleeps, so you know I put his fingerprint up to the phone, <laughs> and I found butt pictures, naked pictures. And the other pictures, none of those were you. No, it was not. Okay, so he's asleep. I want to make sure I got this picture. He's asleep. You sleep. All right. <laughs> and you just slip his hand over and do this. Yes. Man, you sleeping for real. He was asleep. I, I, you couldn't move my body part and me not wake but up. His That's phone charges right next to him. This is his body. This is his phone. So it wasn't hard to put his finger over and press it on the thing. That's impressive. I, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm blown away. That's, it was that's impressive. <laughs> Mr. Payton, did you have butt pictures in your phone? No, I didn't, Your Honor. Okay, now, butt pictures are pretty much self-explanatory, so it's not something she would mistake for something else. Mind she, you, there were no undies on the butt. She's okay. delusional. She's very... Ms. Well, Matthews, did yeah. you bring any evidence of this? No, I did not. Of, co how, of course he's going to... All right, you, you, didn't, you don't have any of them with you? No, I don't have no pictures. Okay, because I was about to say, you weren't going to no. look at that anyway. Like, he took her to the store. The store is, like, three minutes from my house. They were gone for two hours. It was... I say, where have you guys been? They went to go get a pair of black pants. Your Honor, that's the I say, where She's are you? Very exaggerated. He say, oh, it we stopped to get something to eat. It was so I said, minutes. where's How the food? 20 minutes turn into two hours? Where's the food? There's no food. There's no receipts. Do you remember this particular trip she was talking about? Yes, where you I, were... I remember the trip. It was late at night. It was like 11.30. Her sister was walking alone. I volunteered to walk with her. We was gone for like 20 minutes. That's it. Your Honor, you can tell the tension. You can tell there's something wrong when we're all in the room together. I turn my head and they stay staring at each other. Like, basically, that's what they doing. It's just a lot, so... So, you're, so as a woman, you are feeling that yes, there's something going on. It's never wrong. There's something in their body language is it's, it's sitting up player. They had to do kiss something. It, it, it's just so crazy. Okay. And another incident is when I was at work. I called Dre. I said, Dre, what are you doing? He <laughs> said, I'm at home, getting dressed, about to get ready for work. I said, okay, well, you know, let me call Alicia because she was getting ready to take the kids to daycare for me. So Alicia's called, your sister, yes. right? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. So I called Alicia. I said, Alicia, what are like you know what you doing? What the kids doing? You getting them dressed? And then I throw in. So where's Dre? What he doing? Oh, Dre isn't here. He left about forty five minutes ago to head out for work. Remind you, the phone calls were not even three minutes apart. So she's at your house and They're he's both at, at your house. house. Yes. And she's telling you he's gone. Yes. And he's And there's no he's, reason for her to tell you that. There's no reason. Why are you telling me he's gone? And he's she saying I'm there dressing. Talking. He's telling me I'm getting dressed ready to go to work. Mr. Okay. Payne, what was going on? Nothing. I was leaving out when I told her I was. I don't... I, don't, I think her sister was lying to her. Do you deny having an affair with her sister? Yes, I deny it. Uh, do you deny having an affair with someone right now? Someone other than her sister? Yes. Okay, so you have not been involved with anyone other than Miss Matthews? Right. I heard him while he was in the bathroom. So you okay. had to hear her on the phone with me. So you heard the conversation. Y'all both was just locked together, that's all. So don't make it seem like you wasn't at home when you really was. And you just stuttered and said, oh, I was gone, but how was you gone when you at the house? You wasn't gone, you was there. Um, I actually bought him two back tires and a battery for his car. All right. The car that he's out cheating in. And I want my money back. All right. Because I found out he's cheating. Everything that he has in my house is going up in flames. So, let me make sure I got this straight. You bought him two tires and a battery, and a battery. for his car. Yes. Do you have any evidence of that? I have the receipt. 
All right, Ron, would you get that for us, please? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Your Honor. Thank you so much. So you spent three hundred and twenty two dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you don't think it's fair for him to ride around in a car that you paid money for while he's riding your sister? Right. Hello? Okay. okay. Is that Okay. Mr. Payton, did she buy these things for you? Yes, but it was with my credit card, so Can you look at the what? bottom? Because where we live, they make you sign when you show a credit card. Well, it says it was paid with check number 0151 yes. for Neek Matthews. Okay, who else is that? Even if so, I take her anywhere she need to go, her and her kids, that's the least she can do. Okay, so you believe the least she can do is, is pay, for the tires, pay for the tires, pay for tires. battery you because you drive car. her around. Rent free. We're going to rule on this lawsuit on a moment. But we're going to go back to the love suit. Yeah, we've got to get to the bottom of this love suit. We sure do. Now, you claim that he is sleeping with your sister. You yes, claim... That I'm not. ...that you're not. The court has tracked down Ms. Matthews' sister. Okay. Ron, would you please escort Ms. Yes, Matthews' Donna. sister into the court? Let's go, Ron. <laughs> we're going to go up and have a seat right next to the judges up there. Absolutely. Hello, how are you? You are Miss Alicia Simon, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And you are the sister of Miss Fanique Matthews? Yes. All right. Are you and your sister pretty close? Absolutely. We've been close. You love your sister? Dearly. Do you think Mr. Payton is good for your sister? No. And why is that? Well, there's been many incidents that I've seen him crossing lines in their relationship. One time I was at a club. Okay. In which I seen him at. Dancing on a girl, or with a girl, she was grinding on him and everything. Another incident has been encountered with me. I was outside at the end of the parking lot, well, out of the driveway, and he came past and grabbed my butt. I was out there for a smoke. Your Honor, that's a lie. I was out there that's for a, a smoke, lie, seeing that we had kids in the backyard playing, so I did not want to be disrespectful to any of my younger family members. So, wait a minute. Let me make sure I heard you correctly. Okay. You're at a family gathering at yes. Labor Day, like a Labor Day picnic. Absolutely. And he comes by and grabs your butt? Yes, Your Honor. Not just a soft, you know, accidental grab. It was like a full-blown, intentional grab, Your Honor. Like a squeeze? That's okay, yes. Your Honor. At that I moment, what did you do? I went straight to the back and told my sister, tried to inform my sister. You didn't knock him into the next week? No, we had kids, and okay. it was around my family. I was just... Just all about respect for me, Your Honor. Okay, so your sister says that you have been intimate with Mr. Pate. That's so, absolutely false. Right. So you have not had Never. any... Ne all, Never. All right. I have a question for you, Ms. Matthew. Your sister says she told you on Labor Day... I'm just not hearing this. You have never heard this before, that he touched her on the butt? Or about the club. Neither one of these. Mr. Payton, were you at the club? Yes. Was there a woman dancing with you? No. Were you dancing at the no, club? No, I don't dance. I sit at the bar with my friends to have drinks. He don't look like a dancer. I gotta be honest with you. In order to get to the bottom of this, the court has engaged the services of licensed private investigator Todd Redding. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Redding into the courtroom? Yes, Mr. Redding, how are you today? I'm fine, judges. How are you? Doing good, doing Thank good. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Redding, what type of investigative tools do you use to catch cheating spouses? I use a number of tools, GPS vehicle tracking, polygraph examination, cell phone forensics, and surveillance, of course. Well, in today's case, uh, Ms. Matthews is accusing her boyfriend of sleeping with her sister. You had Mr. Payton meet with a certified polygraph examiner, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Are you all ready for the results? I am. All right. Mr. Payton was asked if he ever had sexual intercourse with his girlfriend's sister, Alicia. What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the polygraph show? There was not a significant response to the question, which indicates there was no deception. <laughs> Mr. Payton, how are you feeling? Pretty good. I already knew it. Miss Matthews? Just keep them coming. Come on. All right. Keep them coming. Mr. Payton was asked if he ever had sexual contact 
with his girlfriend's sister, Alicia. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. What was his response? His response, again, was no. What did the polygraph reveal? There was not a significant response to the question, which is an indication that there was no deception. So, to be clear, it showed that he was telling the truth. That's correct, Your Honor. Uh, I have one more question. Mr. Payton was asked if he ever made sexual advances to his girlfriend's sister, Alicia. Uh, what was his response to that question? Once again, his response was no. What did the polygraph show? The lie detector examination determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> Ms. Matthews, you came to court to get some answers. You've gotten those answers. Yes. How do you feel? It's a, a monkey off my back. But what can you expect with a man who always cheated in the past? You should you're, feel you're, stupid. You're going to, you I don't feel, feel stupid. Very stupid. I don't okay. feel stupid. Because at the end of the day, you're still a cheater because you, you cheated in the past. So I don't feel... All right. Well, Hold here's, up. here's the thing. You said he's a cheater. He cheated in the past. You used a key phrase in what you said, in the past. You need to leave it in the past. Do you love him? Yes, of course. Okay, then you need to stop acting like a crazy lady and trailing him around. Okay. Miss Matthews, you came with the suit for the tires yes. and the battery. I'm going to give you an opportunity to dismiss your suit. Are you willing to do that? Before yes. we rule. All yes, right. Your Honor. As much as we enjoyed helping you solve your problem, resolve your differences, we don't want to see you back here in couples court. This is over. As okay. soon as yeah. I get home, I'm packing my stuff. I don't ever want to talk to her again. <laughs> it's over. She's constantly accusing me of sleeping with her sister. I'm all the way done. No. Yep. He don't have nowhere to go. Mr. Payton, is that really what you want? You yes. want to be done? Yes. 